hey guys welcome back it's kb here so just recently i made a video on i'm free from adobe products yes i don't use any adobe softwares anymore even the most popular software photoshop i actually went for free alternatives and for photoshop i went for krita because it was a lot more similar to photoshop and lots of keyboard shortcuts were the same it was like easy switch from photoshop to krita but as we all know krita is mainly for painting and you know design and stuff like that it, it's not as powerful as photoshop but if you go on internet and look for the best free alternative of photoshop everyone will tell you that it is the gimp here gimp there gimp and everywhere gimp <laughs> i think i'm now singing a song so i thought why not just try the gimp i downloaded gimp and tried using it and i was totally lost because by default gimp doesn't work like photoshop keyboard shortcuts are different and the tools filters and everything is like totally different it has learning curve if you go from photoshop to gimp you're gonna have to learn every single thing about gimp but guess what i converted gimp to photoshop i mean at least i made it look like photoshop plus keyboard shortcuts and everything are similar to photoshop so i'm gonna launch a gimp actually and here we go it's a photo gimp even the loading screen looks like a photoshop you know if you have ever used a photoshop this looks familiar right so a lot more things actually works similar to photoshop now even the canvas by default there are no you know fuzzy lines going on around it's clean without those fuzzy lines i mean you can go and tweak the gimp by yourself and you can disable and enable every single uh, things what default gimp offers but for new people changing settings is also hard right so yeah uh, this is great i'm still learning gimp and this is you know so far the best thing what i have done in gimp and trust me i have come very far in gimp since i converted my gimp to you know photoshop if you have ever used a photoshop you can see all of these uh you know keyboard shortcuts are same finally i can learn gimp without worrying about the shortcuts and whatever you know so how did i do this actually there is a open source project at github called photo gimp so basically it transforms or it actually makes uh, gimp look like photoshop plus you know work like uh, photoshop so if you're someone who is thinking about switching to gimp uh, from photoshop i mean you have to try this out this is so good so good especially for me because I, I am officially adobe products free i'm using free or open source alternatives of uh, adobe products and uh, yeah this thing changed my life now installing this can be a little bit confusing because lots of tutorials online how to install photo gimp uh, will show you manual way to do it but don't worry i'll show you guys the automatic way uh, you can actually find a automatic way in this post uh, it is actually available for linux mac and windows if you are on windows just go scroll down all the way to windows section and in here you can either follow a 10 minute long video uh, how to install photo gimp uh, manually or you can install it via chocolatey yeah this is the easiest way first you need to install the chocolatey go to chocolatey.org slash install and after that all you need to do is find this section run following command okay and copy this command copy this open powershell and in powershell paste that command all right and it will download and install chocolatey for you so you can see i have the chocolatey installed already so i don't need to reinstall it now once you have the chocolatey installed go back to github and copy this choco install photo gimp copy this command and go back to powershell again and paste it in powershell and hit enter you may have to run this as a administrator so actually i'm gonna run a powershell as a administrator all right and paste that command again and it will download the photo gimp and uh, you can see i have the photo gimp installed already so yeah once you have the photo gimp installed just search for gimp and just run it this time 
you will see a photo GIMP. And if it just came from Photoshop, many things will look very familiar. Since I don't use Photoshop, this just changed my life. Now I can learn GIMP much faster. <laughs> yeah, this is so much better. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.